Hello, this is Darren from darrenscorner.com. Uh, today we're going to be looking at part four of a five-part video tutorial series on integrating PHP into Tumult Hype. Um, please check out the link in the comments below to download some of the sample files that I'll be working with here. Uh, for part four, we're going to look at using uh, two PHP files and a text file to keep track of the top 10 scores for a high score table. So we're going to look at reading them, sorting them, updating them, writing them back. Uh, and this will all be using just PHP. In part 5 we'll show how to integrate this into Hype. Um, a couple notes about this. This method works pretty well uh, when we only have 10 uh, data lines to, to keep track of. If we, uh, if we have a lot of data to keep track of and sort and filter. Uh, we want to quit looking at using a simple text file to store that and look into creating a MySQL database and uh, creating that and creating entries and updating entries and retrieving entries. Um, those things are not going to be covered uh, in this particular um, in this particular tutorial, but maybe I'll do one on it a little bit later. Uh, let's start by going into part four and we're first going to look at score.txt. Now this is our simple text file and I populated with just some bogus numbers. Um, there's Each line has kind of three pieces of information. The score, 1000, separated by a colon, uh, three initials, a colon, and then a date. And I just put in 1000 uh, 900, 800, 700, 600, all the way down, and then AAA, BBB, CCC for the initials, and we'll show how this gets updated. And then the score I just put in January 1st of the year 2000 for that. <clears throat> so uh, let's get a look at how this works in action. I've got my, um, there we go, I've got my Apache web server up and running. So I'm just going to select this whole thing, copy, and go into my htdocs directory and paste it. There it is. And I'll start up Chrome, the browser I prefer to use. And we'll go to localhost slash part four. There we go. And this is the index file. We'll go into the details of this, but you can see what happens is it on the first page it displays the high score table. Um, and it adds the ranking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, shows the scores, um, and then it asks, uh, it prompts us to enter a new score, initials, date, and submit. So I'll just do that right now. I'll put in a score of 850. The new initials will be, um, let's do ABC, and the date will say it is January um, 7th. 2016, something like that, whatever. Um, and then I hit submit. This submits to a new page and generates two tables here. We first show the old table. This was before that date that uh, score was entered, and that's the same that we had from the last page. And then the new table. And notice now we have the first two entries are the same. We have AAA and BBB. And then eight, the score 850 squeezes between 900 and 800. And we can see there's the new initials, there's the date. And then we push, this one used to be in position 3, it's pushed down to 4. And we push all these other ones down. Notice the last score of 100 was pushed off, and now the lowest the score in the 10th place is 200. So that's how this whole page is going to work. And if we go right now into the hddocs directory and look at our score file, we'll see it's obviously been updated. Bump up the font size, there we go. So we can see 900, 800, 850, 800, 700, 600. Now you've got a gap here, but that's okay. We'll talk a little bit about that later on. But let's dig through and see what's happening. So the first file, the index.php file, let's kind of go and take a look at this. We can see the first uh, 12 lines are simple HTML and CSS, so nothing fancy here. Um, and then if we look um, inside here, we go and print out current high score table, and we open up score.txt in read-only mode. Now this part right here, we're going to create three arrays, scores, initials, and dates. And then we have a for loop that we go through ten times, and we do an fget. And each time we do an fget statement, we get the next line from the, uh, from the score file, score.txt. So temp1 is going to be... Um, let me see, it's going to be uh, 1000 colon AAA colon 
and then 01 slash 01 slash 2000 or something like that. So that's a temporary variable. We do an explode function. I'm not going to go into the details of some of the PHP, but as always, I strongly recommend w3schools.com. Uh, again, if you want to, just look up explode. And here's the PHP explode function. It talks about how it takes a big long string and looks for uh, things. In this case, we're looking for a space. You can kind of see some of those examples. Um, and then it populates the scores, initials, and dates array. Now we, uh, so scores is going to be an array with, and when in this loop is all done with 10 objects in it, uh, 1,000, 900, 800, 700, 600, and so on. And then same with initials, same with dates. Uh, we close the file, then we do a print statement, and we do a loop to kind of print out the, uh, here's the place, then we print out scores, then we print out initials, then we print out dates, and this is all inside the table tag, so we get this in a nice tabular format. And then um, the PHP quits here at line 37, and we have this. Please enter your, the initials that we have right here. So it asks for three entries, uh, new score, new initials, new date, and then when we hit submit, we look at the action on the form, it's going to look for a file called page2.php and use the git method. So it's going to send whatever we put in here, scores, initials, and dates, send it to page2.php and that's going to uh, take a look at these scores and, uh, and manipulate them. So that's kind of the, the first part here. Uh, one other note here, uh, this kind of submission is not very secure. We're just submitting a high score uh, initials and date, so uh, that's, you know, nothing we have to really worry about. If we were submitting a username and password, or we were submitting our bank information or something like that, we'd have to look at setting up a secure connection, but uh, we're not going to worry about that for here. So, now on to page two. So let's take a look at page two. Uh, starting off, lines 1 through 21, standard HTML and CSS, just to get our formatting done correctly. Um, then lines 25 through 36, this is just, again, opening up the score TXT, putting those that information in arrays, um, <clears throat> and manipulating it here and closing it. We did that in the previous page, nothing new there. Um, and then these print statements go and create our table. So none of that stuff, all that stuff we did in the index page. So this is just displaying the old table. So we want to show the old table and then the new table. This is the part of interest right here. We create three variables. I call it new score, new initials, and new date. And we use dollar sign underscore git in capital letters new score, new initials, new date. These are the three on this side. This is the variables, how we reference the three things that we passed from index.php into page2.php. So we get this new score, new initials, new date. Um, and then we're going to refer to them from now on as dollar sign new score, dollar sign new initials, dollar sign new date. <clears throat> then we have a big if statement from 52 to 73. And this only runs if new score is greater than dollar sign scores bracket 9. And what that means, it's going to look at the new score that we passed in. If it's greater than the last place, again, the reason we have 9 here is arrays go from start at 0 is the uh, the uh, the 0th entry is the first one that we encounter. Um, but if our new score is greater than the lowest score that we have right here, we're going to go through this. Now, we uh, I'm not going to dig into this too much. Again, you can take some time to look at this. We've got a for loop. Uh, this finds out exactly where the score is going to fit in, um, and we create these arrays and another for loop, and then we use an array splice. You can kind of, uh, again, this isn't, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Know that this squeezes things into the correct place, and basically the, uh, the arrays scores, initials, and um, scores, initials, and dates get updated only if this score is bigger than the ones that we had before. So then we do this again. So we're pretty much printing out the table again, almost identical to the code up here. The difference is dollar, dollar sign scores is going to be updated, as well as dollar sign initials and dollar sign date with the new value. So they get squeezed in there. So we've displayed that information. Then right here, 
on this last little part, we open up score.txt and make it writable, and we're going to write that new information back in. So again, you can kind of dig through this code if you want. Um, so at this at this point, we haven't we've displayed the new table, but we haven't updated score.txt. At this point, we have, and we do an F close, and uh, then then we're about done. So let's take a look at this one more time. Um, one other thing to make sure of is score.txt, if we go and get info on it, we have to make sure he's read and write, read and write, read and write. So that's good. If he's only readable, we won't be able to overwrite him. And let's run through it real quick one more time. Um, let's go back to index.php. Okay, now we're reading this. We can see there's 850, there's that new score. Let's put in a new score of... 753 new initials. Let's put in uh, QQQ and the date. Let's put in 7-7-2007, uh, seven, seven, something like that, uh, and submit. And we can see there's the old table. Here's the new table. QQQ fits in between 800 and 700 right there. Uh, one thing to note is look up here at the URL. We can see localhost part slash part four slash page two dot php question mark new score 753 new initials qqq new date equals and then we show this instead of the backslashes they do the percents percent uh, what is it percent two f percent two f something like that. So this is how we pass. This part right here shows the variables we passed from the index page. So <clears throat> that's the basics of that. If we go back just one more time. And again, nothing's we can we could type in anything here. I'm typing in the format we're expecting. Um, we're hoping that score is a number. Again, if you wanted to, you know, type in a string or something like that, you could do that, and I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, in the next in part five, we'll make sure that uh, it's properly formatted. So new score, let's put in 520. New initials, uh, uh, let's do, I don't know, XYZ. XYZ, and the date is 05 slash 05 slash 2005. Submit, there we go. And we can see, yep, there it was pushed in. Notice on the old table, 300 was the lowest score. That kind of got pushed off, and 400 is now the lowest score. So thanks so much, and have a great day. Bye.